Today is a beach wedding and we'll be working at Lotus Villa. I'll be working alone today since it's a small wedding and a small package. I like this venue because they have like gardens, green space, the beach is really long, really clean, really quiet, some rocks on the side and beautiful sunset. So this will be easy for me to create more shots which at the end will deliver more, you more photos of different angle, different perspective, different background. I usually arrive at the location before time, I'll, I'll say at least 30 minutes before because I want to check the, the location one more time, the lighting on that day, the decoration or the setup, talk to the planner if, if there's any update, talk to both of you if there's any changes since we last met, you know, to keep myself updated and so that I'm, I can perform myself better. Sometimes since this is like a wedding on, on an island, the weather can change really fast. Me arriving early, in case we need to have the ceremony like 20 or 30 minutes before time, me arriving before time will, will really help on this one as well. The bride usually have more details, more shots like the dress, the shoes, the accessories, the ring, the bouquet. So this usually will require much much more time and much more planning when compared to the groom. It's when I'm done with the bride, then I would move to the groom side. Once I'm done with both the bride and the groom, I usually run down to the wedding venue to take the, the photo of the setup shot like the ceremony which by then should be all complete so we're gonna get a good clean shot of uh, the gazebo and the chair being set up nicely During the ceremony, I try to keep a low profile, not getting too close to the bride and groom. Um, I want to keep them a little distance, a little space, so that they, they know that this is their wedding and it's just not all about me or the photos. At the same time, I don't want to block the guests from to be your witness on the day. I usually use two cameras, having Nikon, my Nikon 850 with a 105 macro on my right hand side and on my left hand I usually have a Canon 5D Mark IV with a 35 lens. These two lens should be sufficient enough, like the 105 macro will give me a good distance, like a nice portrait. I can focus on the bride and groom putting on the rings getting the expression if one of you are crying or if the guests are crying. At the same time, the 35 will cover the whole event, especially for this one since a small wedding, small setup. I can get a complete shot from one end to another end with just the 35 mm lens. Sweet Arizona Sweet Arizona Sweeter than California Sweeter than Tennessee Sweet After the ceremony, I always uh, give you a few minutes to congratulate each other, give each other the big heart, you know, 
say hello to everyone, and then perhaps have a drink, like water. I mean, have some water, cool down before we start with the group photo. For the group photo, I usually start with the biggest one, like basically everyone, no particular order. Just make sure that everyone is visible in this one, and then we usually go down like the bride family, the bride. With her mom and dad, and then the groom family, groom with mom and dad, and then sibling, and then uh, the bridal party. Um, it would be great for a big wedding, a big group, if you could provide us with a, a list, a must-have photo. This will really speed up. Perhaps you can call your best man or your MC to call out everyone. It's always advised to ch shoot the biggest group first because after. They go to the bar. It's really difficult to get everyone back, you know. And some of them want to get into the aircon. Uh, some kids want to go to the toilet. So I really suggest we get the big, big group first. After the group photo, um, we usually do the photo session. So basically, this time is for the bride and the groom. How I usually do this is that I take them to the garden area, like a tropical look. I, I know that many of our clients, you know, the, the weather and the garden is different. So this, this is beautiful. In some villa, in some hotel, this is totally beautiful. They've done it nicely. So we have like a, probably a quick session of like 15 minutes in the garden area. And then we make our way down to the beach, which is a good idea because by this time the sun will be down a little bit and you won't be that hot. So we're gonna do some more shots along the beach, walking away from the frame, walking towards the get some palm tree in the background. If there are some rocks, you're gonna be sitting on the rocks or standing on the rocks, which is also really classic. And if we have more time, we're going to come back to the villa or to the more building area to get some more architectural line, which can also be really, really interesting in this case. The photo session usually takes between half an hour to 45 minutes depending how much you love taking photos. 
But as soon as we're done, I usually bring you back to the cocktail, uh, let you be with your family and friends, mingle and talk about the journey that brings you here today. Um, but my 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 shoot don't finish here. I still shoot uh, the setup, the dining setup. I still shoot uh, people mingling, talking, hugging each other, some candid shot of everyone having fun before we start with the dinner or the grand entrance. These are the sequence of my wedding here today. Every wedding is unique, they're all different. Thank you for your time watching my video. If you have any question or suggestion, please write in the comment down below or email us. If you wish to Skype, we are happy. I'm Thai but can easily communicate in English. I hope you love this video and hope this video helped you. And welcome to paradise. So depart.